Hi folks, HR Funk here. For several decades now, heavy tactical vests in an external carrier just like this one have been used by SWAT team members for tactical operations. And in more recent years, they're becoming more and more popular for uniformed patrol officers. Recently, in my new assignment, I'm wearing this vest every day. And there are some things that I've done differently with this vest as opposed to the vest that I used back in my SWAT team days. And one of the things that I've changed is the placement of my handgun. I'm going to talk in this video about the specific holster that I'm using, why I've gone with this type of a mount, and before it's all over, we'll get out to the range and see how well this setup works. Back in my SWAT team days, we used to wear a drop leg holster during tactical operations, and that was adequate for our purposes then, but in my new assignment, that's not quite so good. One of the problems with the drop leg holster comes in when you're in a seated position, especially when you're seated in a vehicle. Depending on the configuration of the vehicle, they can be very clunky and bang into things like center consoles, and it can also impede your access to the firearm if you would need it, either while you're seated in the vehicle or as you're exiting the vehicle. Now, when I got to my new place of employment, I was issued this holster for use while I was on duty. And the problem with this holster when I'm wearing the tactical vest is it severely impedes my access to my sidearm, especially when I'm seated. And you can see, even as I'm working with it here, it is not very easy at all to get to that and access that pistol. So I decided I wanted something more accessible. And since this vest has the Molly connection points, I decided to look for a Molly compatible holster that I could wear in a chest mount to be able to use during my time at work. That led me to Alien Gear and the holster that I'm going to talk about in this video. Now prior to settling on the Alien Gear holster, I did consider one other competing option that's also Molly compatible from another well-known manufacturer. And I decided I did not want to go with that one because I really don't care for the retention method that it uses for the firearm. So I started looking at the Alien Gear holster, and this is the first Alien Gear product that I have ever purchased. And if you look at these holsters, they are called the Alien Gear Shape Shift, and they come in several different packages. The holster itself is firearm specific, so you need to make sure you get the proper holster for your particular pistol. And it also comes in different configurations from the manufacturer. For example, you can get it with an outside the waistband attachment, you can get it as an inside the waistband holster, or as you see here, you can get it with the Molly attachment. You can also get a kit that costs around $100 that has different attachment systems along with the holster itself all packaged inside that kit. I didn't need all that and I wanted it specifically for the Molly attachments on this vest, so I was able to order just the shapeshift shell that you see here, compatible with the Glock 19 pistol, and I got that from Optics Planet for less than $35. Now when you get the shapeshift holster, it does come disassembled and you have to put it together, which is not difficult. There are instructions, essentially the two halves slide together, and then there are little connectors, one at the top here, and one underneath here that hold everything together. So you slide the pieces together, you lock those connectors down, and the holster is more or less complete. The one thing that I would like to see is a package with the shapeshift shell and the Molly attachment point, which I had to buy separately, and that was another $15 or $16. By the way, all this I did get from Optics Planet, and I did buy this myself. This wasn't sent to me for an evaluation, so I did purchase this. And I've been using this holster now for about a month, maybe a little bit longer than that. And I think I've gotten to the point where I'm ready to tell you some of the things that I think about this specific system. To begin with, the holster itself, as I said, is handgun specific. Once again, make sure you get the proper one for your specific pistol. This holster has an adjustable tension mechanism, which you can see right here, and you actually use the little connector that holds the holster together to adjust the tension. Now, mine came from the factory with what I would consider the perfect amount of tension. It holds the pistol securely. It's not going to fall out of there no matter what you do, no matter what kind of 
activity you engage in, it's going to hold the holster securely, but it's instantly accessible if you need it. As usual, I'm not going to demonstrate exactly how the retention system works with this holster, but I will say it's very basic and easy to use. The holster itself seems to be well made. It seems to be very strong. I don't think that you could break the pistol out of here if someone was trying to get your firearm from you. Again, I don't think that's going to come out of there. And when you saw it come out a second ago, I actually uh, accidentally released the retention device. But when it's locked in there, I don't think there is any way, and I'm twisting it and pulling it and everything else, I don't think there's any way you're going to get that pistol out of there if you don't release the retention device. So again, the holster seems like it's good quality, it seems like it's very strong, and overall, I think it's a pretty good design. In order for the holster to work with a Molly equipped system, like my tactical vest here, you do need to have the Molly attachment. This, as I said a little while ago, is sold separately from the holster, at least currently it's not packaged with the shapeshift holster itself. It installs very easily. You simply slide it down into your Molly attachments, and there is a lock on the bottom that holds everything in place. So once you lock it in there, this is not coming out either. One of the things that I really like about this system is the ability to lock the holster at any angle that you might want it. So if for whatever reason you want to have a configuration where your muzzle is up, you can do that. If you want to have it just like this, you can do that. It's extremely easy. I like mine at about a 45 degree cant and that puts it in pretty much the perfect position for me to be able to access my firearm if I need it. Now one of the concerns that was expressed to me by someone when I was talking about carrying my pistol in a chest mounted configuration is that with all of the muscle memory that I've developed over the years from drawing a sidearm from a waistband mounted holster in this location is would that cause me problems trying to retrain myself to draw from a holster in this location? And I don't think so for a couple of reasons. First off, this is not tremendously different from a shoulder holster, which I've also used very frequently over the years, or from a cross draw holster, which also I've used pretty frequently. In fact, this location more or less splits those two and access of the firearm is very intuitive. And I've gotten used to it pretty quickly in a short period of time. And you can see that I can both access the firearm and return it to the holster while I'm just looking at the camera and not actually looking at the holster itself. So I don't think it's going to take a great deal of time to retrain myself to be able to access my firearm from this location. In fact, I've gotten pretty confident with it in just a short period of time. And when we get out to the range, I want to test both this location or drawing from this location, as well as drawing from that waistband mounted holster that I showed you a little while ago and see if there's any measurable difference in the amount of time that it takes me to get shots on target with either holster. I want to touch on a couple of other points before we head out to the range. The first has to do with potentially muzzling other people when I'm accessing my firearm. And this always comes up with a discussion of any type of holster configuration that's different from the standard outside the waistband muzzle down type of carry. And with accessing a firearm from this location, as it is coming from the holster, you'll notice that the muzzle is pointed down and away from me. Now granted, if there's someone standing right here, potentially the pistol or the muzzle could be pointed in their direction. But you see, as I'm removing it from the holster, my trigger finger is straight along the top of the frame or the bottom of the slide, however you want to look at it. And then as the pistol turns toward the threat, my hands are joined and only at the point that I come on target and the sights come up does my finger go inside the trigger guard. So a lot of this has to do with training to be able to make sure that you're not presenting a danger to someone else when you're accessing your firearm. And that's true regardless of what method you're using to carry your sidearm. 
The other point that I want to make has to do with firearms retention. There are a lot of retention techniques that are taught based on the idea that the sidearm is going to be carried in a three o'clock position on the shooter's hip. I think in terms of retention, I like this even better because there's less chance that someone can come up behind me and try to make a firearms grab and then I have to try to retain that when I'm caught completely off guard as opposed to when someone has got to either reach around in front of me or be standing in front of me and I can see what's going on and I can lock that firearm in place to try to retain it and then use whatever technique I want to to try to remove that person from my firearm. Also, I've talked to some school resource officers and some other officers who have been in schools and they've mentioned that some young children walking by in hallways, usually coming up behind them, will sometimes grab their firearm because children being children might be curious about firearms. And with the firearm, or my pistol rather, in this location, the odds of anyone being able to come up behind me, be walking by or what have you, and somehow grab my firearm or try to touch my firearm or whatever, again, is going to be much easier for me to notice than when it's down here on my hip. So again, there are a lot of things I really like about this, and I haven't even talked about yet accessing my firearm from a seated position, and I'll wait till I get to the range to talk about that. Okay, folks, I've arrived out here on the range, and it's time to do some testing with this chest-mounted, Molly-compatible, Alien Gear shapeshift holster and the traditional outside-the-waistband belt holster that I've worn for years and years. So in a couple of minutes, I'm going to start to do some shooting. And since I'm only worried about testing the time it takes to access and present the firearm from the holster, what I'm going to do is from a distance of five yards, I'm going to measure the time from the signal to fire until I have one shot on target. And I'll do that five times with each system and we'll see what the times look like when I'm done. One point seventy six seconds. One point eighty six seconds. Two seconds even. One point eighty three seconds. And two point twenty three seconds. Now let's try it with the alien gear system. One point fifty eight seconds. Point fifty two seconds. One point seventy two seconds. One point fifty four seconds. And 1.47 seconds. So as you can see, not only is the chest mounted system as fast as the belt mounted holster, it's actually faster. Draws from the molly mounted or the chest mounted molly system were around a second and a half and it was closer to two seconds on average going from the belt. Now obviously that's going from under this heavy tactical vest, but as I said, I have to wear this every day now, so I have to be concerned with how long it's taking me to access and present my firearm from underneath this vest. Now let's move on to what I think is the real beauty of this system, and that's shooting from a seated position. 
I'm going to put a chair here on the range and I'm going to turn it at about 45 degrees to the target and I'm going to start out accessing the firearm from the three o'clock position on my belt. And this is probably going to be a little bit slow because I want to be careful not to shoot myself as I'm doing this firing from the chair. Then I'll do the same exercise from the seated position using the chest mounted system and we'll see what the times look like for five shots with each one of those two ways of drawing. Two point thirty four seconds. Two point forty one seconds. Two point forty five seconds. Two point fifty seconds. And 2.38 seconds. One point fifty seven seconds. One point forty nine seconds. One point forty six seconds. One point seventy six seconds. And one point thirty seven seconds. Well, folks, who says you can't teach an old jarhead new tricks? I really am liking this chest mounted system with the Molly compatible Shape Shift Alien Gear holster. There are only a couple of things about it that I really don't like. One of them, and really this is probably just a, a function of getting used to this system, is the fact that it seems like it positions the pistol a lot farther away from my body than I would prefer it to be. I wish it was a little closer or a little tighter to my body. But if it was, particularly with my radio right here, that might get in the way with the draw. And as it is, I'm able to access it, as you saw, very quickly and easily. The other thing is, I wish it came in desert tan, so it would not be quite so conspicuous when I had it attached to my vest here. But again, those are minor quibbles overall. I like this system. And if this is something you're considering, I would say give it a try. You might find out, just like me, that you really like it. Oh, by the way, in terms of accuracy with those drills that I was just doing, now again, I was only shooting from five yards, but everything is easily inside the eight ring of the B-27 target here. In fact, all but one of those shots is inside of the nine ring. So accuracy with those presentations, either way, isn't a real big problem, but it just felt so much more natural, so much quicker, and so much more easy with this chest mounted con configuration as opposed to the traditional outside the waistband holster that I've used for years and years and years. And that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, as always, make sure you forward those to me. Remember, if you order anything from Optics Planet, be sure to use my discount code, which is... And if you use that discount code, it's good for 5% off anything you order from Optics Planet. See you next time, folks. And until then, good shooting. Bye-bye.